Hi everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome back to the lecture series of Tanner. So in today's lecture, we are going to see how to create a 2 is to 1 marks using CMOS logic. Alright, so we are going to create a 2 is to 1 marks and we are going to create a symbol of that 2 is to 1 marks in this video. Later on, we are going to use that 2 is to 1 marks symbol to create a 4 is to 1 marks. Then we are going to use that 4 is to 1 marks symbol to create an 8 is to 1 up till we get finally the 16 is to 1 marks. Okay, so without wasting any time, let us start this video. So you can see on your screen that this is a circuit diagram of 2 is to 1 marks and to create a 2 is to 1 marks we need 4 PMOS and 4 NMOS okay and which are connected like this and finally we will be having the output connected to an inverter alright so this is how we have uh, we can create a 2 is to 1 marks alright so uh, let us start making the, our circuit diagram Okay, so first of all, we will create a library. You can create a library mux. Okay, I am going to delete this cell. Alright, so now uh, in this library, I am going to create a new cell. And here I am going to create uh, a new cell in this mux library. And that will be mux21. Alright, and this should be the type schematic. So I am going to click OK. Now what I am going to do is I am going to include the devices. So first of all I am going to have PMOS that is PMOS 25 and there will be four instances of PMOS. So two are connected in series uh, and do, these are connected in parallel with the other two. So here is one and the other. So these are our four PMOS we have the 4 NMOS alright so I will just uh, take the instance of 4 NMOS and I am going to place them like this <coughs> so there is one NMOS there is second NMOS there is our third NMOS and finally the fourth NMOS so we have 4 PMOSs and we have 4 NMOSs now we are going to use a wire so we can see the circuit diagram that this is how these are connected. These are connected like this as well. And these are connected in parallel. Okay, so I'm going to use a wire. So here is the wire. First here. Next here is the wire. And finally here is the wire. Then we will be connecting the NMOS like this. Okay. And we are going to connect these two. So from here we are going to get the output. Okay, and one more thing we didn't change the directions. Uh, the drain, uh, like these are the sources. <coughs> okay, this is fine that drain is here. Okay, the directions is fine, that's okay. Not at all a problem. So now we are going to add the sources. So for the source, uh, first of all we will go to MISC to add VDD and ground. Here is the VDD. And there is our ground. So we are going to add the ground here. Okay. So now I am going to add the output first. This is the output port. Okay. Let it let us add it here. Okay, uh, we also have an inverter we need to add before the output. So I will just uh, let the port remain here. I will name it as Y. And now we have to add the input ports. Okay, so this is let's say A. And similarly another port. That is this. Let's say B. Okay, so now we have the input ports and the output ports. So now we need to make the connections of the input ports. <coughs> All right. And uh, two more things we have that is select lines. Okay, that is uh, basically the one select line that is S, uh, and we will need to take the invert of that S line as well. So this is S for the select line. All right. So uh, these are the inputs A and B. 
so first of all our a input is connected with this okay and b input is connected with this okay i will just move it upwards yeah so now their b input is connected with this similarly this one is connected with the a input and this one is connected with the b input all right so these are our a and b inputs now the thing is our select line and for the select line we need an s bar as well okay so for the select line first of all what we need to do i will just make the normal connection regular connection okay so one thing is uh, we can do we can make the connection like this first uh, this is one select line and this should be connected to this as well so there is the second connection that is this select line you can see here in the circuit diagram that these two are connected to the select line these pmos and nmos and this nmos and that pmos is connected to the s bar all right so that thing we will need to connect to s bar okay for s bar we need an inverter so we have already created an inverter before and we are going to use that symbol okay and we can see here is our symbol either uh, we can use that or you know uh, it's okay if we use the logic gate we can directly use this logic gate symbol it is a bit compact okay you can see it is very compact than that so we are going to use this so there is our inverter and one inverter for the output so i am going to paste it here and i am going to move the output a little bit yeah okay you can use the inverter symbol which we have created as well that's all right so there is this output and finally uh, this inverter this input one should be here oops yeah so one should be here And the other one should be here. All right, so we will be connecting it like this. From here till here. So this is how we have made our mux. Okay, and this is how our final two is to one mux looks like. All right, so now let us uh, put the sources first. That is the VDC. the sources vdc and we are going to create the instance all right so here is our vdd and finally our ground so this is our vdd and ground and now what we need to do is we need to add the input sources that is vbit so here is one for v bit here other v bit is here all right and we will copy the ground so this is our ground now you see uh, what mux does is uh, when the select line is enabled it is going to uh, get a at the input and then it is going to get uh, b at the input that is uh, when select line is enabled either a will be at the output and when the select line is uh, disabled uh, then the other one will be at the output so uh, first of all we will had to we had to add bit uh, add a v bit to select line as well so that we can control uh, when it is getting enabled or disabled 
ओके आई विल जस्ट मूव दिस सेलेक्ट लाइन या सो आई एम गोइंग टू यूज अ वायर एंड हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू कॉपी दिस होल और लेट्स कॉपी दिस वन सो वी आर गोइंग टू कॉपी दिस एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कॉपी दिस ग्राउंड ओके दैट इज आर ग्राउंड सो नाउ वी हैव द वी बेट now let's change the bits okay bit pattern so i will give this pattern as 1010101010 that is it will be uh, uh, once it will get enabled then it will be disabled it will work like this work like that or let's say uh, since it is going to change frequently we will just do it like this so that for some time it should be one for the other time it should be zero so that we can observe the waveform correctly All right, and I am going to change change one of these patterns. So I am going to make it, let's say one zero one zero one zero, and all that. Okay, so these we have made. Let's uh, choose the plot. So here is our voltage print, and we are going to add one voltage print here for the A input. Here for the B input, let's add one for the select line as well, no problem. And this is for the output. Okay, so this is our design, and let's save it and uh, let us try to run it. First of all, we will set up the spice simulation. Uh, let's see transient analysis hundred. Okay, now in general library files, just include your library files. This is generic 250 nm, and make sure to add TT. So we have set up the simulation, and let's try to start simulation. Let's hope there are no errors. so far it seems fine and we are having some plot okay so let's see okay yeah so right we can see that uh, it is one till this time actually we need to we had to run it a bit more to get the full view but anyways you can see it is the select line is one till this time and till the time that select line is one it is giving the output of uh, b input that is this input is uh, reflecting at the output and the moment it gets zero uh, that uh, then the a input the a input gets at the output okay so this is how a 2 is to 1 mux works uh, so our circuit is working fine and uh, we are getting the correct waveform all right so this is okay now we are going to save it and let's create the symbol for this so first of all we will remove all these sources okay uh, i hope you understand that why we use that already created logic gate we can use r inverter as well but uh, that's a bit uh, the symbol size of the symbol is bit and it is more compact so that's why we use this so i am just going to save it and here i am going to click on cell generate symbol all right so here is the symbol and uh, we have our library mux and the symbol is going to be generated so here this we have the symbol you can see a b and select line ground and vdd and y all right so i am going to save it now in mux you can see here that we have uh, the symbol for 2 is to 1 mux and uh, the schematic all right so now what we are going to do uh, in this video we are going to see till here uh, in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to use this symbol of 2 is to 1 mux to create a 4 is to 1 mux all right so this is all for this video see you guys in the next video